boys today. I'm going to be showing you a tournament match in which I played demo, because a lot of people want to see me play other killers. I've been a little bit sick recently, so please bear with me, but I hope you enjoy the video. Basically, uh, for people who haven't seen this tournament before, uh, you had to pick f between uh, Freddy, Leatherface, Demo, or Doc. Uh, I practiced a week for Doc, and then I ended up picking Demo. And straight away, I saw like two of these survivors right here in the corner. And one of them sprint bursts away, so I was like, okay, easy, we'll just chase the core there. Do I get a shred here? I do get a shred here. I was feeling really good. Like, after I got that first shred, because you have like 20 nerves, but I feel like after I get the first hit, I'm like calm. And then this person ran into like, you could tell that it was a bad area just from the rocks. And I just carried on chasing, of course. Like, demo with the, the add ons that I'm using. So, like, these two add ons, like Barb's glasses and Blackheart. Blackheart is like save the best for last for shred. So, like, I'm trying to shred as much as possible because the cooldown is just so little. Bla uh, Barb's glasses is like palette cooldown. What are your perks? I brought Corrupt, Ruin, Undying, and No Ed. You see No Ed uh, in comp a lot more. If you haven't really seen comp on the lower end killers, because it's basically to secure, uh, if you get somebody who's fresh at the end, then it's worth so many more points. But like, as you can see here, I went for the shred on the claw there. I mean, I couldn't have got a normal M1 anyway, but I'm like co co constantly like uh, prioritizing the shred. And then like, I'm trying to do like movement to path them back to the pallet, and then I shred it. And they make it back to the team wall, right? And I was going to shred. And then they did that uh, DH. And that really confused me. But then they carried on W King, so it was okay. Like, I got the down anyway. I really wanted that Jake to play that pallet as well. Because if he plays that pallet, it's basically like a free hit if I play it right. Right, look at this. Why? Bro, like, I remember this happening. And I was just like, my mind was blown. Like, I took my hands off my keyboard. Like, look, look at what he does here. It's so confusing. So he goes to vault, and I'm like, fine, yeah, expected, normal. Like, of course, of course, of course he's going to vault there, because, like, every survivor's going to do that. And then look at what he does. I'm like, okay, he's vaulting. I'm just going to break this wall. And then look, he vaults back into... Why? I hadn't even lunged to break the wall at that point, and he vaulted back into me. So apparently, I was so confused when I saw that. Like, I was so confused, but apparently they were on a gen in the middle, and he didn't want to go to the middle because I would have followed him and kicked them off the gen. But vaulting back into me would have given me a free hit, and then he was going to use balanced on the drop down. But he didn't even get to use balanced, I'm pretty sure. So, like, I was so confused. Like, I was so lost when that happened. <laughs> and I took take chase with this guy. Like, he doesn't even get use out of balanced. And I get a, a black heart hit there, and then he just sort of paths to the hill. And then this is just a free down because he's in the dead zone. And I know he doesn't have DH because the other person used it. This is one perk rules. So that's my second hook of the game already on five gems. So like I'm in a really good position here. And they got, no sorry, they did pop a gem. I remember this being really confusing as well because that's the second gem of the game. 11 for 20. So like that's another free down for no reason. Like that person probably had Delhi, and that's why they went for it. And then I just went for Blackheart because the cooldown, like you should be able to notice there, the cooldown on the shred is so low. And then uh, this guy, right, this guy blew my mind. So, so far, right, he's vaulted into me, right? And you would expect, when you see this kind of mind game, they go and play the other side of the loop, right? Like, back here, on the on the back rock. And I was so lost, because, like, he went to play the back rock there and just stopped. And I was so confused. I was like, why? Why is he doing it? He's just spam vaulting the pallet. So I could have caught him out if I if I realised about it, and I didn't. So, fair play for him. And then they come to pick up, and of course, yeah, I go for the person that was on the floor, but they had sprint burst, so I didn't get it. And then they only have this pallet to play, which is a pretty poor pallet. And I hit them through because 150 ping. Third hook state of the game. And you got to think demo in comp, like, you're expected to get, like, five stages is probably average. And then six or seven is a good result. Yeah, Tom Thomas had Delhi, but the Nia had Delhi. Like, there's no surprise there. And uh, that survivor juked me without even looking behind them, which blew my mind as well. And then, oh my god. Oh my god. I have to pause this. <laughs> I have to pause this. Do I get this hit, chat? Do I get this hit? One in the chat if I get this hit, two in the chat if I don't. What about now? They've dead hearted. Do I get that hit? They've dead hearted. They've dead hearted to the pallet. They're mid dead hard right now. Do I get that hit? What do we think? <laughs> the, my entire team, when I came back in, they were talking about how disgusting that hit was. And I'm from the UK, so like it's ping, of course. But also, 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 the Claudette did misplay because she DH'd past the pallet. Like, she DH'd too late. So she went past the pallet and then sucked back to it. Average result for demo in 20 is five stages. And I'm already on four. So, like, I was I was pretty happy with my performance right now. Like, I've got two survivors death hook, and I'm just playing for stages. 
So like basically my plan here was is I get three survivors as far down on the uh, amount of hooks as possible. And this guy that blew my mind. I shred everybody I know in comp, in practice. They are going to dodge that 100 times out of 100. So I'm like, okay, he's going to go to the right. And this guy doesn't react at all. He just held W. I was, I was literally like, what? <laughs> he just ran in a straight line. I was, I was so shocked. I didn't expect that at all. But I managed to get him with like a blind game, just like fake going back and he vaulted over. So it's fine. Like my aim here is just to rehook. So at this point, the, the Cheryl is fresh. So I wanted to leave the Cheryl fresh to end game because it, it's basically scored off of uh, hook states. So if I leave the Cheryl fresh, then in end game, I can get three more hook states just by hooking her and camping her, right? So I have five stages on three people, which is really good. And if I remember correct, yeah, this person was uh, unwilling to vault. So I tried to make them vault twice and I even went like with a, a moonwalk because normally uh, they do vault a lot if you do the fake moonwalk. And then she just got caught on the on the sidewall there. And then they're taking me to the other side of the map, but like, I knew that I would lose gems for this, but like I say, I knew that Deity would do better, the survivor side would do better than, than nine stages, right? And if I get this down, then I guarantee I get at least nine stages. So I'm at six stages here, and I'm like fairly confident, but basically what I do here as well, is like, I'm just gonna teleport to somewhere completely random, so they don't really know where I'm coming from, and it works really well, actually. Like, this is what I was doing a lot to Deity as well, is I would try and teleport a lot. I didn't do it much this game, because they actually did gens pretty quick. Uh, I didn't really hold a 3-gen or anything, because, like, I was just getting fast downs. And look, like, this Claudette had no idea what's happening, bro. <laughs> I come from an angle they don't expect me. The Claudette's just spinning in circles, and the Noah just whacks her down. It's so great. And then, obviously, the Cheryl uh, doesn't realize where I am either. She's live. And I see the other guy there, and he's running away from the hook. So I focus her over the window. And now I just get this guy into 4k. So like, in, my, in the back of my head right now, I'm like fearing Unbreakable. Because uh, if uh, Unbreakable happens, then uh, obviously they can like salvage their game. Oh, they didn't actually show the last time. I don't know if they had Unbreakable at any of these three survivors, but they didn't end up getting it off. Like I saw that survivor crawling, uh, and I wasn't going to hook them because I was like, okay, they don't have Unbreakable, but I know that this person's also death. So if I get this hook off, then it's like guaranteed I'm denying them points. And then that's my last hook, and then, uh, it took me, like, this is three stages, so that's exactly what I wanted from endgame. They got all the gens done, so they got ten points, but that gave us, uh, a ten-point lead, uh, lead, I believe. So what perks did they actually bring here? I never looked at this. So they have Prove Kama, which is, Kama is, like, a perk that you never see in bombs, but it's, like, really common, commonly picked in comp because it's really good. And then you have to have unique exhaustion perks, too. It's not like my tourney where you can have double. So they have Life, DH, Trip Burst, and Balanced. I think that's, like, normal choice. Some teams try to use smash hit, but like, it's a little bit risky, especially if you're on high ping. 